Hi everybody, it is Sharon from Exploring Art, aka Vivid Days. My nails are still intact, look, so I will continue to wear my rubber gloves <laughs> to protect and my fingernails don't hurt today. For the people that have their nails done all the time, this is only my first time in about 10 years. Nobody tells you that your nails ache for a good 24 hours after, but they're all good now. Anyway, today I'm gonna do a seascape. I know, for people that's watched my last two tutorials, you'll know that it's a passion of mine. Today we're doing it a bit different. We're gonna be using just two. A paint gray and a titanium white. My goal is to only use these, but to try and give you the illusion of sky, ocean, and beach. So I'm gonna mix up the colors. I might try and add some more rocks in there and mountains and see if I can make them look 3D still. So I just want a monotone look. And I'm even gonna try and keep my beach as though it is monotone as well. So it's gonna be a challenge. I'm up for it though. And I hope we end up with a piece that's okay. And if not, and I don't like it, I'll show you how to correct it. So this will be in three stages again, which will be the sky, the ocean, and then the beach. I hope you watch all three tutorials. Uh, the reason I'm cutting them up is to um, make them more enticing for people to paint along with me and to reduce the length of my videos. Now, I am probably gonna do a voice, vo voice voiceover <laughs> from now on because I'm watching the Queen's Jubilee in the background, the concert, and I'm enjoying it. So I'm going to enjoy that while I'm painting and then you will hear me voiceover. But if you haven't seen my other two tutorials, pop back into my catalog and see um, how I created those. Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Have a wonderful day. If you are painting along with me, let me know in the comments because even though I've been really bad at uh, getting back to people in comments, I am reading them all. And thank you so much for the support and connecting with me. Anyway, peace, love, art. Bye bye. Before I go as well, I also forgot the only three brushes or should I say brush I'm going to be working with is I am going to be working with a two inch brush. That's going to have the majority of my work in there. I love this brush. And then I will most likely rotate between these very, very, very used brushes, uh, which I do have replacements ones, but there you go. Let's see. I think the numbers on there, the numbers have gone off this one. I'm afraid. I can't tell you what number that one is, but this is a 12 round. This is a 10 round, totally different shapes. Uh, and then this is like a flat head. Oh, one more thing as well. <laughs> I'm doing really great on this video. I have taped where my horizon line is going to be because I'm going to introduce some little mountains quite far away, or should I say hills. I'm feeling that I want a dramatic sky. In fact, I might lift it up a little bit because I think I want a dramatic sky, but I also want to have those rocks in there and I want to have a decent sized beach. So I'm going to lift my skyline up just a tiny little bit. I'll do my best to do a little voiceover talking through my thoughts but if you want a more step-by-step -step version of what's going through my mind pop over and see my last two tutorials that I did or the two different projects one was a project of three one was a project of six right at this <coughs> excuse me this particular project I'm just putting paints gray on the canvas adding a little bit white and going backwards and forwards just going with intuition wasn't too sure how diluted I wanted the Payne's grey versus white. And I'm just playing with it on canvas and I want it to be dark enough so the clouds will come through, but I don't want it to look really, really dark. Now with greys, if you want to warm them up a little bit, you can add a little bit of brown and it'll just take the edge off it and make it less cold. Um, hot tip for you right there. But I wanted to challenge myself just to use Payne's grey and, uh, and the white. 
Now with my brush, I'm just blending it in. Uh, at the minute, I'm just focusing on making sure there's no canvas coming through that paint. Once I've got a liberal coating of it, you'll see me moving my brush left, right, um, just trying to create some loose brush strokes and right now a sense of where there might be some haze or soft clouds in that sky. And just trying to work it both ends so it looks like it's coming together in the, in the middle. I know that I'm going to be bringing in some low lying clouds or where would be haze. Normally I'd add my little bit of red in there, uh, but I can't, not for this challenge. So I'm just going for a lighter uh, colour. And I'm about to explain that this area is now done and um, then we move on to the clouds but just go with whatever feels right for you keep your brush strokes loose and sometimes just apply it on the canvas and if you want to flatten it if you feel that it's not quite right and you want to get more blended a little squirt of water and you will be good to go um, and then important point is let it fully dry before you start to come and work on the clouds it's going to be interesting i mean i know how it all works out but working through it on the canvas it was a nice puzzle and I enjoyed it. Hope you're enjoying so far. Now, I think I've got the base for my sky. I didn't want to go too dark because I want the ocean to be slightly darker. But I wanted there to be enough dark so when I have the contrast with the clouds that I'm going to bring in now. Um, so I think it looks alive. I know you can see lots of strokes, but I wanted it to look like there's lots of haze coming across. And we're going to cover a lot of this up with the clouds now. So, yeah, you make your base of your clouds however you want it to be. And now I'm going to rotate some Payne's Grey with white. Start dark, uh, soft wispy, keep turning your brush around. Uh, loose strokes, don't go for solid, lay it dry and then come back and go slightly lighter until you get to the contrast that you're happy with. All right, let's get on with this. My masking tape is still on there and at the, currently I'm just trying to work out how light I want to go. So I'm just applying a little bit of Payne's Grey, tiny little bit with white and just rotating it round as I would do normally. Uh, with my paintbrush trying to keep circular motions trying to keep a little bit of uh, variation in color and not having it solid and you'll see me come around and i do a solid line of that and again working through it on the canvas at this stage i'm probably doubting myself thinking is this project going to come off but just keep working through the process pretend you're working with your normal colors and see what happens and i really do enjoy the end result so I always start with a slightly darker colour and quite transparent to start with, keep my, my motions quite loose and then I'll gradually phase that colour through until it's a, a true white and obviously you're thinking of your composition of where the clouds are coming through uh, to help with that illusion that we're looking at the earth is slightly round, well not slightly round, it is round, <laughs> but that horizon and I think I'm trying to balance how many clouds can you have to make it look like it's a cloudy day not necessarily a stormy day but the colors want, might make it look stormy uh, but just have some fun and uh, i think i get the end result i enjoy it and I, I explain a little bit at the end where i need to come and soften the back side of the clouds which will come clean in not come clean <laughs> come clear towards the end but thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome i hope that you watched um, number two in this tutorial and number three and again as I've mentioned before if you want more detailed tutorials go back and watch my back catalogue but as Bob Ross says lazy clouds circular motions keep it loose and don't go for solid colors and build it up slowly build it up anyway I'll see you on the next video I don't think there's any more commentary needed for this particular point and i would just encourage you to have some fun step back look at what you're doing uh, step back look at what you're doing and keep doing it that way and eventually you'll work out that the less effort you put into your clouds the better they'll be on that one i'm going to leave you with some music bye bye
we got the clouds done. I came in with a tiny little bit of water on my brush and let me just make sure there's not a lot on there and just came underneath and flattened the bottom of the clouds to make them make more sense to me and soften that area. Uh, did a little bit there. Um, I did a little bit here. And a little bit there. Just so when I stood back, those clouds looked like they were bigger storm clouds coming across and then I kept the rest of them quite fluffy and I think that's added more value to it but your clouds make them how you're happy and there is no right or wrong but love that edge now that tape's gone and we'll see if we can keep bringing this alive with the ocean next hope you're still with me but thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome remember to let me know if you are, are painting along with me with hashtag Sharon Lindley inspired me and also come back and see how we create the ocean part, still using the same two colours and building a little bit of mountains or hills. But <laughs> yeah, lost for words. All right, see you on the next video. Bye.